Hollywood, The Jim Stafford Show, starring me. <laughs> Thanks for turning me on. These are some of the people we have with us tonight. From the Bob Newhart Show, Bill Daly. Don't you feel silly dressed like that? Dressed like what? <laughs> and from Mr. and Mrs. Valentine, their daughter, Karen. <laughs> Also featuring Valerie Curtin, Bill McKenzie, and Richard Stahl. Plus, we have the Galloping Gourmet, and he's going to come out and show us the secret recipe for making whoopee. Then we have a belly dancer who's going to be out, and uh, as a matter of fact, she's going to back out and show us a behind-the-scenes look at her act. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's my kind of weird. I've been accused of being a little weird, you know, because of some of the songs I write, but I'm not weird. Unless you're really picky, then I'm in big trouble. I don't want to talk about it. But uh, there are things about me that, that you could consider weird. You take my religious preference. I'm a uh, Frisbeterian. We worship Frisbees. And we believe that when you die, your soul goes up on the roof and you can't get it down. <laughs> if any of this sounds like you're kind of weird, stick around and we'll show you what we got. to my door last night. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, Bill walked me to my door last night and he said, before I go, there's something about our love affair. Hold him in. Cut. Whoa, man. I know they're applauding you all that, man, but um, something's got to happen to you, man. Uh, excuse me, I think we uh, may have a problem here. Rodney? Yeah, man, could you walk back here, Slick? Listen, now. Uh, uh, what's the problem this time? Would well, you want to whiz over that last line again, man, and what about uh, you and Bill, was it? Uh, let, let me, uh, this, uh, I'm going to introduce you to these people. This is my electronic friend, Rodney, Thank and you, he's man. supposed to, I want, to, I want to define what you're supposed to do out here now, Rodney. Now, I don't want you to listen. You're supposed to play a little guitar, jump in the cane occasionally, you know, mm -hmm. do wahs and do wahs right, and, right. you know what I mean, singing songs yeah, like well, that. But, okay. uh, no, there's no butts, no, I don't want your butts in my song, okay? <laughs> You've seen Gladys Knight and the Pips work? Yeah, man. Okay, yeah. when Gladys Knight's singing, have you ever heard one peep from a pip? No, I haven't. <laughs> I sing beat. and play, and you don't interrupt, because that's not the way it's supposed to be, okay? Okay. I don't know, man. Really... Well, I'm going to sing it. So you, 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 man. Go ahead. Spit it out, man. You just let me sing this song. Now, I sing, you play. Rave it You on, don't talk, because that's not the way it's supposed to be. You got it? Bill walked me to my door last night. Now, that's not the way it's supposed to be, man. <laughs> Could I have a stool, please? Do you want to talk about this? Is that what you want to do? You want to discuss it? Man, I wonder what the cookie monster would do in a spot like this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You... Now, that's unfair. You don't know about this song, and I haven't even sung it, right? You well, man, aren't you right? glad I stopped you before you went out there and made a fool of yourself, man? Well, you could have given me a chance now. Now, listen, Ronnie, this is... Don't get pushy, man. 
Listen, you're just gonna have to trust me on this song. Well, okay? all right, man, but I think the kids should get out of the living room, man. This could be for consent and adults only, you dig it? Okay, you just play. Okay, man, but under protest, dig? Bill walked me to my door last night. And he said before I go, mm -hmm, mm. There's something about our love affair that I have a right to know. Yeah, man, like who leaves when you do the funky chicken, right? I said, Bill, let's not stand out here like this. What would the neighbors think? Same thing everybody thinks, man. Let's just step inside and I'll fix us both a drink. That's gutsy for TV, Jack. My girl, Bill. My, my girl, Bill. Catchy I too, can't man. say enough about the way I feel about my girl. My girl, Bill. William's hands were shaking. Yeah, I bet they were, man. <laughs> As he took his glass of wine. And I could see we both felt the same. Hmm. And when his eyes met mine, I said, who we love and why we love, it's hard to understand. So why don't we just sit here on the couch? You believe this, man? And face this man to man. My girl, Bill. My, my girl, <laughs> I can't say enough about the way I feel. You make life so easy right there. My girl, Bill. You know, I'm going to have to call my agent and check out these irreconcilable irregularities, you know what I mean? Irreconcilable similarities. You said that as well as I did, man. Wait a minute, now listen. You're wrong about this song. Look, man, I could be wrong, but uh, let's just review it. You went out to dinner last night now, right? Yeah. Is this for real? True story, man? No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This doesn't have anything to do about last night. I wrote this song a long time ago, you see, but I did write it about a date, and I did write it about a date that I really had. No, let's check that part, man. Uh, okay. You, you went out on a date. Who did yeah. you go out on a date with, man? I went out on a date with Susie. Susie, huh? Yeah. So far, we're clean, man. <laughs> and then what did you do? I went to a movie. With who, man? Susie. You and Susie went to a movie. That's yes. healthy, man. And then what happened? Well, then I walked home. Now, brace yourself, man. Here comes the biggie. <laughs> who did you walk home with, man? Bill. Now, that's not too cool, man. You're weird, man. Rodney, just listen a minute now. Would no you? way, man. I heard enough. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be a part of this, man. I'm turning myself off right now. This is my me, Rodney, man. Just checking out. This is her. <laughs> Do you see this? This is what he does every now and then. See, he thinks this is clever. This is clever, man. <laughs> He just turns himself off in the middle of whatever we happen to be doing and lets me stumble ahead without him and figures it'll all work out anyhow. You turn yourself off, man. You're trying. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish the song without him because I think it'd be better anyhow. I said, now, Bill, you know, we just left your place. And we both know what she said. She said she doesn't want to see your face. And she wishes you were dead. I know we both love her, and I guess we always will, but you're going to have to find another, because she's my girl, Bill. You made a dummy out of me again, man. Listen, I didn't make a dummy out of you. I'm the dummy that puts up with you every week. Help me sing this last chorus. She's my girl, Bill. Do, do, do. About the way I feel about my girl. I'm talking about my little girl. My girl, Bill. My girl, my girl, my girl.
I got a lot of dates from that. Uh, club dates. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of, that's a pretty song. Yeah. Let me ask you something. You really seem to play that thing. You know how to play a... a yeah, play? I love the upright. You know, I, I like to get that real that kind of nifty jazz sound. You really kind of swing on this thing. You know, really get into it. Really yeah, get into those strings. I like the sound of it. But, you know, most of the guys today, they are into the electric basses. You know, they don't play the big ones. They call them, you know... They're... Yeah, but it doesn't have the big band sound. You know, like you can't really kind of get a really swing. You know what I mean? You can't get into the real guts of it. You know, like guts. Yeah, you, you, a lot of guts. <laughs> you, a lot of guts you, you, you must be a big band fan. Yeah, I, I memorized Glenn Miller. Glenn, are you talking about the uh, movie, like the Glenn Miller story? Yeah, yeah it was great, great. Did you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I like really that. Good. You know, I like the part when Jimmy Stewart's trying to get that sound. You know, he said, "Oh yeah, I get that, that special sound." You know what I mean? Yeah, I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did that go? Do you recall? I think it went something like this. Find a new sound. Something that's mine. Something that says Glenn Miller. As soon as you hear it, I'm going to find it too. Something different. Let's see now. <laughs> well, that's different. Start. Work. I'm going to find that new sound. Hey, Miller, what you do? What, what you do with today? Are you into who does he DiMaggio play? I'm working. I'm trying to find a new sound. I can't think of a thing. Gee, that's too bad. My wife's out shopping. And there's a game. I'd like to see some. Let's go. The Yankees better beat those Dodgers. And if they don't, adios. <laughs> Look, Bill, I like to be a good neighbor. I like to go with you to the game. I enjoy the game myself. But I'm groping here. I'm trying to find a new sound that's driving me crazy. I can't think of a thing. To you. <laughs> My heart cries out, get rid of it. Get rid of all that tension inside. Watch the module slide in third. Listen, Bill. What can I say? You're a good neighbor. You're a good buddy. You're a friend of mine. Yeah, right. You're one of my best friends. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to work, and I can't come up with a new sound, and I can't go with you in no ball game. I gotta work. That's all. Okay. I understand. You don't need a helping hand. I'll just go on down the ball game. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm only trying to concentrate. Pardon me, boy. I bought a hat and got some new shoes. Honey, that's fine. He's trying to work, do you mind? You guys are going to have to cool it. I'm trying to come up with a new sound over here. That's all. A new sound. What do you want? I just walk and I just walk. Hit on the chin, what a creep. He's supposed to be a friend to you and me. I don't get it. He's working too hard. I don't get it. Leave him alone, okay? I don't get it. Well, what can I say? I'll never get mad when I'm scrubbing the floor and he comes to the door. I'm begging to borrow a cup. Enough! I'm trying to get a sound here. Hey, we're going to go out and watch those Yankees play. Not on your life. Hey, let's go to the zoo. You know, it's really swell if you don't mind the smell. Oh, we'll go to the zoo, 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 zoo. Pennsylvania.
Bang is six five thousand. Yes, Glenn Miller. Look, could you send up some pizza? Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna be here all night. Okay. Let's see what we got so far here. for a lady who deserves it, Miss Karen Valentine. You are the picture of health. You really are. Well, thank you. You look so healthy. Thank you. You must go for all those guys that are healthy, too, with the big muscles and the tans and all that. No, I go for different kinds of guys. Oh, yeah? You're about as different as they come. <laughs> well, look, uh, tell me something. Does it bother you when the guys kind of, you know, look you over? Heck that... no, I look right back. <laughs> oh, really? Did Would it... you mind standing up? As a matter what? of fact, would you mind standing up? Stand up? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What? Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you a secret, come here. What is it? You know, this afternoon, yeah. I was walking past your dressing room door, yeah. and it was open. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the skinniest legs I ever saw in my life. <laughs> uh, you were peeking in my dressing room? You're the skinny little old thing. <laughs> wait a minute now, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I didn't know about any of this. Wait a minute, my legs are not skinny. <laughs> well, they sure are from the back. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm wary. Look at this. Take a feel of that. Just... <laughs> Come on, good. Listen, you think you can do better than no, that? I'd put my muscle up against yours any time. <laughs> Look, I'm concerned about my legs now, and uh, yeah. I'm convinced that something's wrong, and I would like some help. Well, Bruce, I think we should get you to doing some deep knee bends. Then we got to get a little weight on you. And then we got to get you healthy. Yeah. What have you been eating lately? Oh, what I always eat. The hmm? world's most perfect food. What? The hamburger. You Man can't... does not live on hamburgers alone. It's not a well-balanced meal. Sure it is. Sure it is. I'll roll that out here a minute. I'll show you. I'll show you a well-balanced meal. What is this? The happy homemaker? <laughs> you just trust me. All right. Okay, you tell me what it takes to make a whole well-balanced meal. You just give me the ingredients. Well, uh, for starters, bread. Bread. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, bread. Okay. Thank you, hamburger fan. And then meat. Meat. Ah, what else? I thought. <laughs> bread, meat. And salad. A salad. Mm hmm. Hmm. Presto. Salad. Terrific. Doesn't that look good? Give it now, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> a green vegetable. <laughs> a green vegetable. Huh. Wait a minute. Green vegetable. Wise guy. Pickles. <laughs> there it is. Take a taste of that. <laughs> um. Hmm? Well, it is good. Mm hmm. But you really do need. A little pill to huh? supply your minimum daily requirement of vitamins. Really do. Oh, listen, I believe in little pills. <laughs> but, but I got you one better. <laughs> the minimum daily requirement for grease. Oh, really? Ladies and gentlemen, Damn your hope. The French fry. Uh, I may be hopeless, but I'm also in love. <laughs> Let me just tell you. All right. I remember when I saw you lying on my bread, looking like an angel sizzling on the whole wheat bed. 
I've touched you with a relish and no one could compare. Everything seems to be in order. No spice here. Merci. What is this? I thought this noise was coming from the engine. But no! No, no! Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. What is going on? I thought this noise was coming from the engine. Is this the engine room? Don't be silly! Stop, stop. You stop that too too thing! You stop that chew chewing! Okay. That's what you want. Stop, stop. <laughs> What is going on? We don't know. All of a sudden, the train stopped. <laughs> yeah, one moment. I think I know what the problem is. You, to to start the train. Stop, stop. <laughs> Right back following station identification. Thank you. Hidey ho, and the hey diddle diddle. Life is easy as a falling off a fiddle. Now, if you don't feel silly, and you want to be a little, when you clap your hands, <laughs> put your head in the middle. I'd like to uh, do a song for you on the banjo, but before, I'd like to give you a uh, technical rundown on the various parts of the banjo. Tell you a little bit about the banjo. <laughs> now, this part here is called the round part. <laughs> this part here is called the long part. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this part here, it calls your, uh, this or your winders. And this right here is a sidewinder, and it's designed specifically to get in the way of your thumb. Now, oh, this is called the head. So what you have is the main body, the head, with the neck sticking out. Now, on a person, that would look stupid, but on, on a banjo, it uh, looks ridiculous. So, I'd like to try a song called uh, The Love Theme from Deliverance. I'm a chili dog for you, baby. Oh, but you keep it so tight. Let me go and have Went to your house the other night, and I caught the two of you alone. And then you told me he was a nudist who came in to use the phone. Now, come on. <laughs> Sixteen little red noses and the horse sweats. Gonna dip you in that dip of the dew. I'm gonna tie a rubber band around my fanny and run around you screaming, I'm an airplane, make me take off because I love you, Freddy. You can sit around with old banjos and play.
With Leo Lyon on sports, Miss Little with all the weather news, and Peter with a special report on birth control. Here's our anchor man, Spot. Hi, hi, hi. And now the animal news. A truckload of pest strips overturned on the freeway this afternoon. All flies and mosquitoes are advised to take alternate routes between the Lebray and Fairfax exits on the Santa Monica Freeway. Now, this man is still at large. This man is still at large. If anyone has any lead to his whereabouts, contact Animal News. Billions of chickens have already kicked the bucket. <laughs> The weather is always important news to the animals, and here's our chicken with the weather, Miss Little. The giant fly! The giant fly! Oh. Thank you. You think it's easy, being in weather? Hundreds of studs, mares in their coats, made their way to Roy Rogers Museum in Apple Valley, California today, where Roy's horse trigalized stuff in state. Bailed hay was placed at Trigger's feet and at the tomb of the unknown stud. <laughs> Swartz is next, and here's Leo. Thank you, Spotty. Full slate of action tonight. The Bulls beat the Bears, the Cubs nipped the Orioles, and the Lions took the Eagles. The Dolphins were idols. Jock your take up the Paris Road, April's Breath of Victory. Holly Park racetrack last night, record time. That story from April's Breath in one minute. But first, a word from Peter and his special guest, Roar. Man continues to pollute our rivers, streams, and oceans. Speaking on behalf of the fish of the world is a goldfish. <clears throat> How are the world's waters at this moment? <laughs> this, is, this is shocking. Keep your gills up. Back to spot. <laughs> Famed animal naturalist Marlon Perkins was waddled severely today by 400 penguins. <laughs> For a beach report, shark seven, bathers nothing. <laughs> the animal news best bet for moviegoers, the Maltese falcon, always a delight. Bugs is a must. And if you haven't already seen it, take in the sting, a real B movie. <laughs> a little animal humor there. Ah, with our continued report on animals and drugs, we taped this interview earlier with a feline who will remain nameless about her first taste of drugs. I was just a kitten. My owner? My owner gave me this little ball of yarn type thing. I didn't want it. She forced me to take a bite of it. That was my introduction to... Ah! Ah! To catnip. Yeah. And it built from there. Now I'm up to three, maybe four bags a day. I can't take it anymore. I've got this mouse on my back. Don't get out. In this day and age, we can send chimps into space and hamsters through plastic tunnels. This problem continues. It makes you think. On a happier note, if you recall the story about the female fruit fly who was unable to bear any children, well, she took a fertility drug and finally gave birth. Yes! Mother and seven million children are doing fine. <laughs> That's the animal news this night. This is Spot saying so long to the entire staff, <coughs> leaving you with this thought. Mm. Be careful crossing streets. <laughs> Let's not be part of the pavement. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close the door. You don't have to worry anymore.
we gonna let it? You won't regret it. Keep your shoes off. Do not fear. Bring that bottle. under one arm. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but I'm a Billy Denham and I'm real hungry and I thought maybe you could tell me, uh... uh pardon me, sir, I'm Billy Denham. 
I'm hungry. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but I'm Billy huh? Denham. <laughs> I'm Billy Denham, sir, and I'm hungry. I'm Buffalo Bernie, and I'm Orn Ray. Yeah, well, I thought maybe you could tell me of a nice rest. Oh. <laughs> Thought maybe you could tell me about a uh, nice, nice restaurant in town and... Uh, You're a stranger in this town, I can tell. Yeah. We don't like strangers. Yeah, well, you're very, per very perceptive, sir, is it a manner of speech? No, it's your manner of dress. You're neat. We got a thing about neat in this town. <laughs> Say about that, I'll be around. <laughs> Must be a product of a broken home. <laughs> oh my goodness, the girl approaches. Hi, Billy Denham. Hey, you don't know me, but I saw what that big bully Buffalo Bernie did to you. You saw everything? No, just a little bit, but just enough to know I love you. Full house. <laughs> I love you, too, but first I've got to make my fortune. How do you aim to do that? With this. What's that? This is canvas to make tents for the people of the Wild West. Have you talked to the people of the Wild West recently? They live in houses now. So my fortune. You know, I still want my daddy to meet you. Yeah, I can't meet him looking like this. Oh, oh you love it. He's a tailor. No, oh, wait a minute. I don't even know your name. You can call me Jean. Jean, yeah. Remember that name and remember that girl. You won't find her in any of the history books. She was only a tailor's daughter, but she was a whole lot more than just so, so. So, see for yourself. No good, Sonny. See, if, if it was just a seam, oh, I could do it on the machine. No problem. It was a regular pair. Oh, my man. I could do a French weave. Hi. Oh, yeah. You'd never tell the difference. Was a bullet hole? Bang, bang. I could make a patch. But this, ugh, this is real damage. This looks like the lake of Buffalo Brainy. I'll never understand this Wild West talk. Now, don't you despair. Daddy will make you a new pair of pants. Look, Daddy. He's got some fabric. What? I wouldn't risk my good scissors on this stuff. Oh, Dad, do it for us. Okay, Cookie. Give me my hacksaw. Here you go. Thank you. I hack to the right. I hack to the left. He's cutting a high blue denim. Oh, you're gonna look fine. And you will be mine. When I'm wearing my blue denim, it's tougher stuff than corduroy or khaki flu. Yeah, a needle won't go through it, but a rivet will. Kid. I need a smart lad like you to work as my tailor's dummy. Yeah, but first he's got a score to settle with Buffalo Bernie. I do? Yes, Billy Denham. But you be careful, because they could maim you, Aim. malign you, Line. and hurt you, too. Wait, those, those things all hurt. You mean you mean the puppet at the saloon? No, those pants when you walk down the street. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. to the left of the light. No one's afraid. You walk tall, you walk strong, but most of all, you walk chafed. <laughs> you hear? Yeah, I know it is. I'd be a coward. 
dirty, rotten, creepy, crawling, low-down, dirty, filthy, creepy, cute scarf. You were all learn easy, stranger. I guess I'm just gonna have to learn you again, huh? Well, go for him. Go for him? Yeah, go for him. Go for him. Nobody makes a fool out of Buffalo Bernie. I'm gonna shoot them all. No, don't shoot. Bill, take off those pants and give them to him. I don't want you hurt. That's okay, I'm not all that afraid. I repeat, I'm gonna shoot them all. Well, then let me get out of the way. Let go of me! <laughs> The bullets bounced right off. Somebody made a fool out of Buffalo Bernie. gave me my inspiration. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna call them... I'm sorry, what was your name? Jean. Jean, I'll call her Jean. Yeah, Jean. You're gonna be famous, honey. Wow! These pants are gonna be a hot little number. Yeah, 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 boy. The whole town will be ready Thursday. Thursday, what a great Thursday for you. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, and whatever became of uh, Billy? Well, he didn't marry Jean. He moved on meeting other girls, inventing blue denim socks called Barbara's, blue denim pajamas called Natalie's, and blue denim gowns called Alice's. You may have heard of Alice's blue gowns. Well, none of them really caught the public's fancy, quite like Billy's blue jeans. Now that's the story of blue jeans, the pants that won the West. No other pants or trousers. I want you to come here a minute now. I got one thing to tell you. One last thought. I want you to remember this. You can fool some of the people all of the time. And you can fool all of the people some of the time. But when it comes to fooling around, you can fool around with old Jim any of the time. Thanks again for turning me on. Show, this is Bill Thompson. Jose Ferrer, Maximilian Schell, Lee Marvin, and Faye Dunaway are the guests on Stanley Kramer, Triumphs and Defeats of a Hollywood Filmmaker, tonight's Wide World Special. A veteran cop jeopardizes the lives of the entire SWAT team, Saturday at 9, 8 Central, here on ABC. The preceding episode of the Jim Stafford Show was taped on August 20th, 1975, off the 9 o'clock in the evening Channel 7 ABC television program.